you're opening a browser, you hover over New tab, then pause. Something spicy is about to happen. So you click Incognito Mode. The screen turns dark. The little spy icon shows up. You feel untouchable, invisible, like a hacker in a movie saying, I'm in. But what actually happens when you use Incognito Mode? Let's find out and possibly ruin the one illusion still holding your digital dignity together. When you open an incognito window, your browser says something like, pages you view in this window won't appear in your browser history, cookies won't be saved, and you'll be logged out when you close the tab. Basically, it's saying, don't worry, we'll pretend none of this ever happened. Which sounds great, until you realize that's like saying, if you commit a crime, we'll just forget it internally. Everyone else might still know, though. Here's what incognito mode really does. It doesn't save your browsing history. It deletes cookies after you close the tab. It doesn't save what you typed into forms, and it signs you out of websites automatically. That's it. That's the list. It's like renting a hotel room under a fake name, but still paying with your real credit card, using your actual face, and texting your mom while you're there. Here is what it does not do. It does not hide your activity from your internet service provider. It doesn't hide your activity from your boss, if you're on company Wi-Fi, nor hide your activity from websites themselves. It does not make you anonymous to trackers, advertisers, or government agencies, nor turn you into the hacker from Mr. Robot. So, if you were hoping incognito mode made you disappear, sorry, you're still very much visible, just not to yourself, which is kind of like hiding your own birthday card and then acting surprised when you open it. So, who can still see what you're doing? Here's who still sees your private session. Your internet service provider, ISP. They see every site you visit. Incognito just means they're watching you in dark mode, your school or workplace. If you're on their network, they can track everything, including that weird search you did on Do Raccoons Have Knees? Websites themselves. They know your IP address and device fingerprint. So yeah, they know you came back, even if you didn't log in. Google, if you're using Chrome. Yep, they say they don't link your incognito session to your account. But Google also knows where you live, what you buy, and when you last cried. With this, you might ask yourself, why do people think it's so private? Incognito mode feels private because the user interface changes. It doesn't remember your history, and let's be honest, it makes you feel like a spy. But this is mostly emotional comfort. It's like putting on sunglasses at night and saying, no one can see me now. It's not privacy, it's plausible deniability from yourself. Despite the myths, incognito mode is actually useful for a few things. Checking prices without tracking cookies. Some travel sites show different prices depending on your search history. So incognito is like hitting the reset button, logging into multiple accounts at once. You can be you and also your other you and also that old email from 2012. Bypassing paywalls, sometimes, because some websites let you read a limited number of articles based on cookies. Delete the cookies equals new life. Buying gifts without ruining surprises, unless your partner also checks the browser logs, and your Amazon account, and your soul. Okay, but what if you want actual privacy? If you want to browse privately for real, you'll need more than just incognito. Try a VPN to hide your IP address from your ISP. A privacy-focused browser like Firefox or Brave. Use DuckDuckGo so your searches aren't stored like a diary of regrets. Or Tor if you want to go full spy mode and embrace loading times from 2005, but beware, more privacy usually means more inconvenience. It's the internet equivalent of installing seven locks on your front door and forgetting which key goes to which one. So, what really happens when you use incognito mode? You don't become invisible, you don't become anonymous, you don't even leave less of a digital footprint. You just don't leave breadcrumbs on your own device. Everyone else still has receipts, they just don't mail them to your house. So yeah, if you're planning anything truly secret, you're going to need more than a dark browser window and a false sense of security. So next time you open an incognito window, just remember, it doesn't erase your mistakes. It just tucks them under the digital rug right where your ISP, your employer, and probably your FBI agent can still see them. Sleep tight.